All right, this next video in our differential equations series is about slope fields or direction fields. Sure, let's focus on linear first order. I'm taking a look at this guy. A linear first order differential equation can be represented like this. Well, what do we see here? We have this derivative is a function of two variables, and that's going to make a slope field or a direction field. Maybe we'll focus on one speci specifically, an autonomous one. Yeah, um, this one right here. Let's let the computer make a graph of this. What is the computer doing? It's going through and it's plotting specific x and y's and finding out where the slope is at those guys. So here, is a graph of that slope field. Okay, now um, this differential equation, yeah, is totally separable and solvable. Not all of them are, right. But if we were to do something like that, we would separate it, bring my y down here, separate my differential, integrate both sides. Over here I have the natural log, mm-hmm, and over there I have x plus c, e it up. Yeah, so I'm going to have the absolute value of y is equal to e to the x times e to the c. Let's find a specific solution. Okay, and where do I want to find that out? I want to find out y of 0 is 1. So I go through and I plug them into their appropriate spots. That should be a 0. Yes, 0, because I put my x there. And then e to the 0 is 1, so I'm left with e1 is equal to e to the c. Then I take the natural log of both sides and I find out that c is 0. So that lends myself to the specific solution right here. Okay, that says y is equal to e to the x. Great. Now let's let the computer plot a solution with that specific point or initial condition. Wow. Take a look at that. Doesn't it look like y is equal to e to the x? Sure. Now let's see how the computer does this. Okay, to see how these slope fields work, right, and plotting a specific solution, we need to go back to first semester calculus. I want to take you right on over here. This is just a regular curve, right? We're talking about tangents, right, a whole collection of them, right? But let's take this one specific function. What does the tangent do? The tangent is the slope at a specific point. Yeah. Okay. Why don't we see what the tangent slider will do for us? Okay. Now that we take a look at that, man, what if I was over at a slope field and I just had an initial point right there? Okay. Well, this thing is gonna this thing is gonna behave with the tangents. So then if you follow me on this, down here, bam. Boom, oh, yeah, bam, oh, bam, oh, bam, oh. And that's kind of what the computer does. In our, in our next flick, we'll be talking about two specific methods that the computer uses. Okay, huh. let's explore these directional fields just a little bit more. Here we have four. This one, this one, this one, and this one. What I want to know is which one of those goes with this equation. Okay, let's notice a couple of characteristics about this equation. The differential equation dy dx is equal to 1 all over the quantities x to the third plus 1 times y to the third plus 1. Fun. Now here we see the denominator. It's going to be 0 in two different spots. Along the line, y is equal to, uh, y is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 1. So we should expect our slope field to have vertical tangents through these two lines. Which one of these slope fields or direction fields have these vertical tangents through those two lines? Yeah, there it is again. Okay, we've got it nailed down, but let's take a look at one more characteristic. Yeah, um, we see on that directional field, the only action that we have is really through those two lines, and here's why. As x gets big, and as y gets big, or conversely small, what do you notice about that quantity? Sure, 
that quantity gets closer and closer to zero. That's why when we stray from those two lines, we find that our derivative, or our slope, becomes flat. And that's why we see the flatness everywhere away from those two lines. So let's tie it all together. What I have here for you is the slope field or the directional field for um, the sine of x times y. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to find a few solutions for these different guys. Yes, here I got them all on the, all on the, all on the y is a quarter. Let's plot some specific solutions. Let's plot 0.5 and a quarter, 1 and a quarter, 2 and a quarter for my initial conditions, 2.5 and a quarter, and so on, and so on, and so on. Now, let's get our go on, minus 0.25 on the y. Yes, 0.25, uh, yeah, let's do half 0.25. Let's do um, 1.25 and 2, or 1.5 and 2.25. Okay, stumbling a little bit. I should probably just leave you with that. Haha, <laughs> it looks like a leaf. Oh wait, no, he's on fire. <sighs> Whatever. Not